It's a lumpy, bumpy road beer It's a tumbly, wumbly world If you don't know what to think here Then we're here to speak the word Where do you go? Who should you know? What do you want to feel now? It's all in the meantime In the meantime, here's our show You remember me? Okay, now that completes the training and well-being day. There's a questionnaire in front of you. And guys, please just be as honest as you can, all right? But it was mainly positive. Aye, mainly. But there was that one line, wasn't there? The slideshow... The slideshow was a bit dull. Aye, that was there. Yeah, you got some really good films here, man. Oh, thank you. I am a bit of a film buff, as you know. You can tell. Mm. Oh, check this one. Fellini. Wow. Just look at it. That is beautiful. Isn't it? Where'd you get it from? Oh, that new shop downtown, yeah. Do you know what I've got two copies? Two copies? Yeah, right. Two copies, right? Same collection, right. same everything, yeah. but one's $14.99 and the other's $39.99. <laughs> Tough one. <laughs> Which one should I buy? Yes, should I spend oh. more money or less money? Mm. Let me think about that one. <laughs> yes. Can I have a few minutes to ponder that, please, sir? <laughs> there are two schools of thought on this. Yeah. Uh, the cheaper one, or the more expensive one? <laughs> Less or more? It's almost as if my finger's hovering over the nuclear button. <laughs> oh, oh, you've twisted my arm. Go on, I'll take the cheaper one. <laughs> Tough decision. <laughs> Very difficult. Not. <laughs> oh, have you seen this one? Network? No. Oh yeah, I have actually. Uh, when he leans out the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Just because there's only one bed in a room doesn't mean only one person can sleep in there. Try under the bed sometime, or top and tail. Take your belt off mate, we're not going anywhere. No, I'm alright. Look at this prick here riding without no hands. You know what, I really wish you'd fall off that bike. What? Well done. You know I'm a genie. Oh shit, I forgot. Man, you really deserved that. He looks badly injured. Come on, wish him better. No, let him suffer. It's his own bloody fault. Come on, I, th I think he's broken some bones. You must regret this now. No, no, uh, I stand by the wish. It's only a broken arm. Look, look, they're putting the neck brace on. Is that his mum? Oh, she's going berserk. This, right, this is serious. He, he could be paralysed. Now, c come on, make a wish, undo it, come uh, on. Hang on, it's just a bit of social justice. Justice? Oh, come on! <laughs> All right, okay, look, I wish him a miraculous full recovery. <sighs> what? So the boffin's still neck and neck on zero. Maybe they'll do better in the quick fire round. Fingers on buzzers. Who assassinated JFK in 1963? Adrian. Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. No, it was the American government. Which specialist treatment is known to most effectively cure cancer patients? Veronica. K. 
chemotherapy. No, it's hemp oil. Who was the oldest person to have ever lived and how old were they? Veronica. Jean Calmo, 122. No, it was Lee Chung Yan and he was 256. How many moons orbit the Earth? Adrian. 3,972,000. No, it's one. What happens after we die? I'm afraid we'll never know. Well, at the end of that round, well, of course, the answer is we regenerate. At the end of that round, the scores are still tied, so the game will now be decided on a spot the ball round. So, could both boffins look at the screen and tell me, where is the ball? Nobody? You haven't blanked it out. Didn't hear a buzz. You haven't taken... Adrian. You haven't taken the ball out. Okay, so where is it? It's easy. It's there. Can you be more specific? <sighs> this is ridiculous. That's funny. You said it was easy a few seconds ago, and you still haven't answered the question. Well, what do you want us to do? You tell me. Ah, uh, sorry. You've had ample time. Well, it seems our boffins can regurgitate facts from a book, but are absolutely incapable of thinking laterally. You could have just walked over to the screen and pointed at it with your finger. Never mind. As both contestants lost, they will have to pay a forfeit. Veronica, you will write an earnest review of Alien Ant Farm's second album, Anthology. And Adrian, you will attend a social function at the Citadel Arts Centre, but you'll have to wear this Swaginger Polo shirt. The freak is that noise? What noise? You can't hear it? Bloody hell. I can't hear it, lad. Oh, I'm day, lad. That's what you're naming me for, lad. Because you can't hear it. There's no ear. What is it? Silence, lad. You can't bloody well hear silence, lad. You can. Listen. It's just an absence of noise. Which is noise in itself, lad. Self implies other, after all. I think I deserve that I know, lad. I think you did, lad. You're not supposed to agree, lad. Oh, nay! OK, very good. And uh, in terms of weaknesses? Well, I suppose in, um, in terms of weaknesses, I do overwork myself. Um, maybe that's something that I do need to work on, as it were. <laughs> well, I wish we heard more of that in the staff room. Uh, did you bring your CV? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Uh, usually we receive it beforehand, but I think there was a mix-up at the office. Uh, I take it this is a misprint. Uh, what is? Your date of birth. It says here that, that you'd be six years old. Yes, that's right, yeah. Um, you know that this is a teaching position? Um, no, I'm applying as a student. I'm sorry, please forgive me, but I thought that you were a bit older. Although now you've said it, I can see it. Wait, what, what do you mean? But I mean that you look about six. I mean, it's obvious now. No, it's, n it's not. I mean, right, this is backfired. I'm not actually six, I'm 29. I was just doing this for a laugh. So you're not six? No, you're weirder than me. So you're not here for a pupil position? Of course he's not, he's 29. Right. I, I mean, w what did you think? Well, I presumed he was here as a pupil, but I thought he was about 11. Well, hang on, now you're being weird. Well, I am the funny man. No. You're the straight man. Is that how you've seen me? Yes, absolutely. I'm Morecambe, you're wise. Whoa, 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 you're That's Morecambe. That's how we've always worked. You're Oliver Hardy, you're just a foil while I clown around. You set it up, I knock oh, it no, out of no. the park. I knock it out of the park. Hang on, well, who's this guy then? Well, he's a straight man. <laughs> Excuse me, right? I've never been in a room where I'm the straight man. You two are just bait. I'm the weird one. Oh, well, that's very funny. Is it so funny? I have not seen. Shut up. It's like because you I don't think I'm going to be the Hi, welcome to Hank's IT tech and support workshop. Beginner to intermediate level. This is the ZX35 Wi-Fi printer. And today, I'm going to show you how to set it up for a wireless connection. Let's go ahead. Okay, firstly, locate 
the tools button. Ah. Once in the setup menu, press the right arrow button until you find auxiliary. It's not there. Hmm. Okay, I've had a look at the manual and it recommends LAN settings. Let's check that out. Once in LAN settings, press OK, right arrow, and then select Wireless LAN Setup. And that should have brought up Data Signal. But it hasn't. The manual recommends an alternative route to the DOS line by double-clicking Scan. Okay, so after a little frustration, I'm going to have a look through the FAQ section of the provided CD-ROM. I could not get the information from the fucking FAQ, so now I will try and get some advice from an online forum. the fucking handle code! I'm just having a few issues on the forum, because the solutions offered here seem to work for every asshole except for me. But remember, troubleshooting means problem solving. And that's why I've come to the recycling center. <laughs> well, it looks as though technology got the better of us again. Join me next time when I'll be looking up how to configure a dial-up connection. Good job, guys. Good job. I thought of a sketch called Brexit. Right? Well, it's just that, really. What? Just one of us saying to the other person, Brexit means Brexit. And what does it mean? I don't know, but everyone seems to say it, even though it doesn't really mean anything. Like one of those uh, repetition guys where you keep saying something and eventually it loses all meaning. Kind of, yeah. It's like when the punchline to every joke was dot .com. Like people would just say dot .com at the end of everything. Dot .com. Exactly. And you think that's funny? Well, not really, but everyone else seems to. Like, what, what exactly does it mean? What does what mean? Brexit. Brexit? Yeah. Well, it just means Brexit. Brand will play all members of Pink Floyd in the upcoming film. It is said to go on to Oh, I hate that Russell Brand. You know, he's about as funny as a three o'clock call in the morning. You know, from your sister telling you that your nan's died. Nice analogy. You know what I mean? He's an oxygen thief. You know what? I wish all these talentless celebrities would just die in a plane crash. I'm now being told that Russell Brand has been killed in a plane crash. We were just talking about him. It's now being reported that the Guardian writer and socialist Owen Jones has also perished in a plane crash. He was what have you done? In London and Sheffield. And now a third plane has gone down in Luton. The author Will Self has died. News Will Self? Were, These are all people I ate. I know. The, the wish is based on your views. Apparently, Mr. Self suffered a cardiac arrest seconds before the plane nosedived into the tarmac. Oh, for God's sake. I, I, I didn't specifically wish for that. You know, some horrible death, maybe. It's in your subconscious. The plane crash isn't enough in your sick mind, is it? John Snow has gone down, the much-loved news presenter. I think it's clear now that these incidents are linked. What's Jon Snow ever done? Oh, I don't know, it's, it's, he doesn't wear a poppy. Because Adrian Childs is the latest victim of what is being dubbed on Twitter as Celebrity Deathmatch Day. Right, you've got, you've got to undo this wish. ...news that feminist Laurie Penny, who has not only died in a plane crash, she is also believed to be in the pits of hell. Oh, come on, I really hate her. Please! He was best known as the star of The Office, where he played unpopular boss 
David Brett. Oh, all right. I, I wish all these people hadn't died. All of those names are in fact alive and well. Well, we can only apologise. That all came from Reuters. It's staggering how quickly this news is travelling to us, actually. What is wrong with you? Yeah. Have you seen Eyes Wide Shut? No, what's it like? It's like this. It's like that. Well, as I say, I haven't seen it. Nah, neither have I. <sighs> I'm so tired. Fancy tea? Yes, please. Before we commence, I am obliged to remind viewers why tonight's draw is taking place. Britain is vastly overpopulated, and last year a referendum was held to decide the fairest way of tackling this urgent issue. In accordance with the most popular vote, one name will be drawn from the 50 most popular British names according to the census. Any person carrying that name will be removed from their home and executed. This will occur once every 12 months for the foreseeable future. So, without further ado, our computer will now select a name. An adjudicator has checked over our software, and it looks like we'll be using Gladys tonight as our program. Helen, you'll be fine. Well, that's easy for you to say, Zenobia. Jesus Christ, story up! What? No! The computer has chosen Lucy. Yes! Woohoo! Yes! We can't do this! Thank God! That means the draw will be an all male selection. I don't want to go, Jack. I could run. You could plead ignorance. Could all Lucy's please make their way onto the street? It's no good. You've got soldiers on every street. Failure to do so will lead to a raid. Resistance will not be tolerated. Will they shoot Lucy Meacock? All Lucy's will be shot. What about Lucy from work? What is it you're not getting about this? Hi, it's Mr. Brenham, account number 4208. I've got a winner on the live draw. Okay, and that's time. Can you please stand, collect your paper, and bring it over to me at the front of the class? What the fuck is this? It's the boa constrictor that swallowed an elephant. Antoine, you need to grow up. No, I don't. It's you who needs to stop being so judgmental. Open your eyes. You're over 30. You need to stop pissing around with this kind of thing. Does this really represent five years of study? It's the time you've wasted for your art that makes your art so important. You become responsible for what you've tamed. You're responsible for your art. That doesn't relate at all to this conversation. Now go home. This is the seventh time you've taken this exam and it's the last. Now get out. Antoine. Yes? I think I need help. Hello, my name's Goliath. 
and welcome to speak to me about the thing we're talking about, where I interview people and ask them questions about their planet, and we find out a little bit more about the cultures of planets all across the universe. I am joined today by Pete Virile. Blue, blue. <laughs> and what's that? Uh, that's our way of greeting someone in blue. Uh, blue, blue. Okay, well, that uh, neatly gets us on to my first question, a question you can find in my ebook. Speak to me about the thing we're talking about. Question one is How do you say hello in a blue planet? Blue, blue. Huh, well, blue, blue to you too. And what about the, the language? Uh, what do you guys over there speak? Uh, well, we uh, predominantly speak uh, blue. And blue is? Well, it's uh, a blue language uh, derived from the uh, holy blue, blue, blue. And blue, 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 is that a religion? Oh, it is, yeah. It's, uh, I'd say about 57% of the population speak uh, blue, blue, blue. Um, the other 43%, I guess, are um, second generation blue. And the rest of you guys? Blue. Um, what's the flag of blue? Oh, it's a blue flag. Uh, it's, um, it's, uh, it's all blue. Um, it's a shade of blue. Electric blue. And are there any distinguishing features about the flag? Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd say how, I guess how blue it is. What about uh, the culture? Uh, well, we have uh, blue films, uh, blue music, and uh, the Blue Olympics. And what's that? What happens there? That's uh, uh, where we all get together and um, uh, compete in different competitions. Such as? Who's the bluest? Yeah, I heard about that. And aren't I speaking to a blue record holder? That's right. I do in fact hold the record for five consecutive blue victories. It, it wasn't so great last year, I heard. No, uh, not, not last year. I was uh, pipped to the post by uh, a certain someone, my, uh, my son Rafi. I've got to say, I've met Ralphie a couple of months back, and he really is one hell of a guy. Very guy. Speak to me about the food. What's a typical blue breakfast? Well, we're big on blueberries, so usually I'd just whack a big bowl of blueberries down my shaft in the morn. Chuck anything else in there? Not for me, but a couple of the older generations are quite keen on a few scrapings of the old blue cheese. Okay, well, if you'd like to read more of these questions, remember to check out my ebook. Just one more question. How do you say bye in blue? We don't believe in byes or endings. We believe that life is one continuous big blue bubble. So, what do you say when you're leaving a conversation or departing from a friend? Uh, nothing. Uh, we just get up and, uh, blue. People in headphones, driving cars. People in headphones, driving cars. People in headphones, driving cars. Word. People in headphones, driving cars. Bloody cyclists. What's that? Oh, some lycra clad twat posting some videos of a collision. Right, daggers out. They think they own the roads, but they don't even pay tax. I wish all cyclists would die Whoa. or... Remember the wish thing? Oh yeah, sorry. Besides, road tax pays for emissions, not roads. Does it? Yeah, look, I've been meaning to have a chat with you. Oh, yeah. Everything that comes out of your mouth is hate. I hate him, I hate her, I hate this, I hate that. Is there anything you don't hate? Where's this coming from? I think you're a mean-spirited, narrow-minded, reactionary bigot. But you're the one reacting. That's not what reactionary means. Oh, you obnoxious twat. <laughs> eh? I thought we were mates, you genie bastard. I mean, why are you even here? Uh, I, I fled during the Arab Spring. You know that. Yeah, well, you should have stayed there. I wish you were back on that boat right now.
prick. Well, you know what they say. When you scream, the whole world screams with you. Yeah!